All right, welcome back. Yesterday was an insane day. If you were there, you've seen it, you understand what I'm talking about. You might already, you might already know. You might, okay? What happened yesterday, you might be asking. Anaplex Online Festival 2022 happened, okay? Beautiful presentation, beautiful show. I enjoyed every second of it, and so many things got announced. Like, when I say so many things, I have a long list of things here, bro. We got new animes, we got old animes, we got animes you forgot about. It's gonna be pretty fun. A lot has been announced at this entire show. So today I will give you a brief summary of what happened, what you missed out on, and one of my favorite animes are making a comeback. So I'm pretty happy and I hope you are too. So for the first uh, anime announcement, if you wanna say, we have this manga finally getting an anime. It will be appearing um, in 2023, okay? So it's my love story with Yamada at level 999, okay? I read that, and again, I'm like, bro, what? So I got a quick synopsis for you to break this down. I wanted to read it. I was like, dude, what is this thing? After her boyfriend cheats on her with another girl he met in-game, Akane learns the hard way that gamer boyfriends can be just as bad as the offline variety, and she vents her anger by beating mob monsters to a pulp. She has a chance encounter with Akito Yamada, a guildmate with an afro, and a no mask. That, that's, that, that's the synopsis. Yamada is unsociable and Kurt hardly the type of person to make a cane swoon. However, while his gaming stats might be maxed out, Yamada is inexperienced in matters of the heart and against all odds, she finds herself moved by him, making new friends along the way. Can a cane shake the heart of Yamada, a final boss level high school boy? I have no idea what I read, but hey, it could be good, okay? I don't know if I'm gonna get through it, but hey, it could be good. It genuinely could be. Next up, one of the big titles and the big announcement that everyone's like hyped up for. This thing went trending on Twitter in like five seconds. You gotta, you gotta love it. Fate Strange Fake Spinoff Story is getting an anime special on December 31st. Absolutely outstanding. I was so hyped to see this. When I say I was partying, I was genuinely partying. Okay, this was like the best part of the show. Um, and with it again, you gotta understand this is gonna be a TV special. It's not an anime special where it's like multiple episodes. It is one episode to probably again they did this previously with another fate um thing it'll most likely get a full anime you know series but we'll see when that happens with it the cast was announced big names here you can take a look into it um again the director and all that also big names there's a lot and a lot with this so it's gonna be insane and it's gonna be animated i believe by a1 pictures so there is potential for an outstanding anime here i can't wait a lot with this december 31st it will air um so be ready for it it's Beautiful, can't wait. Next up for all you Bunny Girl Senpai fans out there, I know you might still exist, you rare species. Um, Rascal Does Not Dream of, what is it? This new one is Rascal Does Not Dream of Sister Venturing Out and Rascal Does Not Dream of Knapsack Kid. Yes, we're getting the eighth and ninth uh, novels adapted into an anime. It's basically the sequel of, yes, Bunny Girl Senpai. So that's a thing, it's real, it's happening. Uh, for everyone that was like um, hype for it, it's, it's now official. Um, there was a leak for this a while ago. People were like, nah, it's fake. So again, after, I think, what, three years now? I think 2019 was like the last time they uh, they had something for this. So it is happening. We have these two over here, um, which is really cool to see. I hope you guys are ready for it. A lot of people were awaiting this. And I guess you can say a lot of people didn't want this, right? It, people like thought that it ended perfectly um, in some sort of format. So... You know, either way you're on this, I'm pretty happy that it's coming out, so that is pretty nice. Next up, we have A1 Pictures handling an insane anime film, okay? It's called Eisen Flugel. I, I don't know how to say it, I'm so sorry. But it is being directed by the same guy that has handled Full Metal Alchemist and Shaman King. So, I'm ready for this one, okay? This is gonna be great, it's gonna be outstanding. Um, with this, basically, I have no synopsis for you, I have no idea what this is. Did I do research on it? Yes. Could I find anything? No. I'm just kidding, okay, calm down. I know what the synopsis is, this is it. In a world where dragons rule the skies, mankind still dreams about taking to the skies and dominating the heavens in their place. Even during wartime, the passionate young pilot Carl Shuniz, I'm so sorry, pursues his dreams of uh, taking up steel wings, the revolutionary new aircraft, the Blitzvogel, um, to challenge the Kaiser uh, Drac, I'm so sorry, the fastest dragon capable of supersonic speed. It sounds great. It's gonna look great. It's an anime film. You already know it's gonna be like breathtaking animation style. A1 Picture is gonna handle it right. So there is that. A beautiful announcement. I was pretty, actually, it looks beautiful. That's all you gotta know. Next up, another thing announced, The Misfit of Demon Academy 2 will be getting an anime and it does have a promo. I'll show you part of it over here. Overall, again, you've seen this probably by now. Um, it's not that bad. And again, um, I enjoyed season one. I generally enjoy season one. Whatever you may say, I enjoyed it. I thoroughly liked it. This is going to be, I think we have no dates, right? 2023, January is when it's premiering. That is pretty nice. Another really good addition to the list. I like it. And now the most shocking thing from the entire presentation that I didn't expect, Nier is getting a brand new anime. Not like this was leaked for ages, but you know, I didn't expect it one bit. 
Um, with it, we actually have the director, which is going to be the person that actually directed Great Pretender. Big, great anime, go watch it. So with it, that's already pretty cool, and the number one thing that got me hyped, it's also, again, animated by A1 Pictures, um, that is currently where it's set for. Um, again, I think also it's 2023, with no actual date other than just January, right? So, most of the stuff announced was all January, December, around there, um, is where everything was aimed for. So with it, again, if you play the game, this is something you should go check out. This is probably going to be really good. The animation looks freaking flawless. So with it, I'm hyped. I love the game. I'm going to love this. That's really it. Next up, we have the uh, we have this anime. Tomo-chan is a girl. Yeah, that's, that's literally the title. <laughs> with it, uh, here's a synopsis, I guess, man. Like With some of these things, I got to give you a synopsis to understand it. We have boyish high school girl Tomo finally manages to tell her childhood friend June um, that she's got a crush on him. Unfortunately, her confession goes right over his head. He didn't even realize she was a girl until middle school, and even now, June still thinks of her as a bro. How could Tomo-chan possibly convince him otherwise and win June's heart? So, uh, that's the anime. Yeah, so we'll see how this releases to be. I'm curious. I'm genuinely curious. Next up, we have this. Atri? Atri? I have no idea. My Dear Moments novel is getting a, uh, a TV anime. So... Let me know what you think about that. This is pretty cool. Honestly, I have no idea what this is. And am I going to read the synopsis? No. I'm saying no to this face. I'm not I'm not reading the synopsis. Next up, we have Mashal Magic and Muscles officially getting an anime. This is something that I actually knew about beforehand. Um, or I knew about the manga beforehand, right? So for the cast, there's some insane, uh, insane people working on this. First up, the person that handled Engage Kiss or directed it, that's going to be the one directing this, okay? The one handling the series scripts was the same person that handled My Hero Academia and Mobile Suit Gundam. Keep that in mind. Now, for character design, that is from the person that handled Tata Never Falls in Love. And then the person handling music is the same person that handled Fruits Basket. So, nuts. Literally nuts the, pre the people handling this entire project. So, it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be great. Before I leave, last but certainly not least, we are getting a new Rooney Kenshin anime. Hopefully, I didn't butcher the name. But with it, it's been years since the last one actually dropped. So, I'm shocked. I didn't expect this one either. So, along with the other one I mentioned, Nier. Didn't expect it. This one I also didn't expect to come back, but it, it's coming back. It's actually pretty insane. Again, a lot of work into this one. Um, there's a lot of also big name people on it, but to make this video short, it's again, really cool. If you know what this is, you know you're gonna enjoy it. If you haven't already seen it, I recommend to pick it up uh, when it does drop. Again, no date currently set in stone, but in 2023, it will be releasing. So there is that. With it, I think I've mainly covered most of the stuff that was announced at the show. If there was anything that I missed, let me know. But I covered majority of the important things, I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, let me know. That's been it for me. Again, just want to talk about the entire presentation. A lot was shown, a lot was uh, given, a lot of information, and a lot of hype things. Mainly, my top ones were Near, Fate, and the fact that we're getting another freaking season of Bunny Girl Senpai. Honestly, hey, it's shocking. So, with it, thank you for watching. Peace out, enjoy. That's been it for me. Have a fabulous day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.